You are a stupid son of Muta and a big fat liar. In the top of that, he go to a video 10, 20 years old. And obviously both of them, they are ignorant. Because even in the Talmud, it says Jesus has miracles. So you are a donkey. Ben Shabira is donkey. The host who is doing the interview is a donkey. They don't know what they are talking about, but they are famous. Because today we are in the famous donkey words. If this guy, he knew his religion, he should have knew that the Jews believe that Jesus have a miracles, tons of miracles. But they say in the Talmud that Jesus went to Egypt and he joined Hori Buter school and he learned how to do magic. And then the other guy says to him, which is proven to you that both of them, they are ignorant. The host and Ben Shabiro. However, all of us, we knew what the Jews didn't know they believe. What is the insult? What, what do you mean? <laughs> like, you know, when you hear the title, you think this guy, he found something. And as long as somebody don't agree with the Christianity, he is insulting Christianity. Do you Muslims agree with the Christianity? No. So you insult the Christianity too, based on your logic, son of Muta. He said what every Jew believed. They don't believe that Jesus is divine. And now you is going to get him busted. Do you Muslim believe that Jesus is divine? No. So how come that part <laughs> is not an insult to you? Are you with me, people? Do you see how silly, trashy, low class they are? Do you Muslims believe that Jesus is divine? The answer, no. So if he is also insulting Christianity by saying Jesus is not divine, will that mean you all of you insult the Christianity? And this stupid you, who make video to teach about secret wives, now you became expert in Judaism and Christianity? The stupid you who insulted your brother just two days ago, saying to him, who is the one who told you to do this? Who is the one who gave you the authority? Who is the one who is the one? And then to, 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 to like 48 hours after you agree with, you agree, without saying you are his right, he said exactly the same thing he accused his brother, the Muslim brother, that he is a fraud, he's paid by the Israeli, he is supporting Israel. I don't know, I think Lee Dawa is getting stronger since he has a secret wife, and that make him a lesbian. Because if he's a man, if he's a man, he will not have a secret wife. You have a secret wife, and they say, why? Because the wife, she will give you a hell of time. So they are a bunch of potatoes. This is the religion of potatoes. They, they, they grow a beard, but they wash dishes at home. So, okay, uh, brother and sisters, what happened? Go. I said right. that the, there you can make an argument that the the Gospels which were written. He was just a prophet. And, right. No, 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 we don't even believe he was. The other donkey, the host, he thinks the Jews believe that Jesus is a prophet. That this is telling you that those people you watch their show and they are famous for you, they, are, they don't even have high school. Like this Morgan, Trucker, Carson. I mean, there are a bunch of donkeys, but you wor people worship famous ones. You know, you know how I see human beings sometimes? I know many, they will be insulted. Do you see how people, they will be so much crowded? It's the same I see a million fly over a shit. The second, you walk in your yard, there's nothing, there's no fly, you don't see any fly. Just let a dog or a cat or whatever, drop a shit, 
lies come from everywhere. I saw yesterday someone saying to me, why you don't make a comment about uh, Mimi Hijab debating a rabbi? I say, first of all, why I want to watch it? What is the qualification of Mimi Hijab even to be there? Is this guy even a scholar? Is he a sheikh? Who is he? Why is he even invited? Well, the answer is very simple. It's a show. This guy, he bring two dogs to fight in the stage and he make money from it. And the dummy you, you think that this is real. The rabbi, he know nothing about Islam. Muhammad Hijab, he know nothing about Islam, about, about Judaism. And then each of them, you know, you are a criminal, you are anti-human, you are This is a dog show. Somebody saying to me, you are not being like a man of God. Hey, my friend, I am not a man of God. I am God man, which means God, he made me a man. Not like you coward son of Muta, who you don't dare to open your mouth and to insult Muhammad. Who you don't dare to ask your mom why she is in the bar Saturday night when she have a growing man. And you are talking about a man of God, fornicators. You will see how the scumbags of this earth, they are coming to teach you how to be man of God. You don't talk like man of God. Let me talk like man of God. You are a serpent. This is Jesus said. You are a hypocrite. This is Jesus said. You are a murderer. This is what Jesus said. You are not the son of your father Abraham. This is what Jesus said. You are hurting our feeling. You don't even dare to say one word about homosexual. You know why? Because you, you know, you are made of a plastic. Don't touch me, you hurt me. Get out of here. Potato. So those who make host or they have host show and they have millions of followers, the first question you ask yourself, why even you listen to them? You know, Trucker Carlson, I don't know if you saw his video, he said that the reason they are attacking Russia because this is the only Christian country. Look, suddenly Trucker Carlson, he keeps saying the F word when he was talking to Andrew Tates, the pimp. He is a Christian. Now he is worried about Christianity. The guy who cannot say two words without the F word he is a person who defends Christianity. And then Putin himself, he stands with Hamas. You see how Putin he is a good Christian? I mean, Putin, he left Hamas. Because he's a good Christian. Putin, he was killing Hamas in Syria, supporting Hamas in Israel. <laughs> but it's still, if we speak against those people, many will be upset. Don't attack a tracker Carson, he defend Trump. Well, shame on you to hire a lawyer like this to defend someone you think is good. This guy, he worked for Fox News all his life. He was their puppies. Suddenly they are not good for him. He's a dog who bite his master. If Fox News was bad, where, he, where was his dignity when he was there all those years? Shouldn't he resign second week? But they made him famous. They made him big. He said to himself, I can make money, more money by myself. That's the whole story. And the naive believe it. And the same those show Morgan, Torgon, Borgen, whatever their names. They bring you two dogs in this in the in the you know in, in the stage and they are start calling each other names and you think this is like wow this is nice, this is a good entertainment. Let us watch it. Did you see what Mimi Hijab said to him? No, no, what, what he said. He said to him, You are not a human. <laughs> is that a debate? Are you serious?